Evidence in the John F. Kennedy assassination case has broken his silence, triggering a fresh debate. Now, Paul Landis, one of the Secret Service agents who was nearly, he was right near Kennedy as he made his account public, sharing details of what happened in Dallas in 1963. And in at least one key respect, his account differs from the official version in a way that may change the understanding of what happened. Landis witnessed the assassination firsthand. As per Landis's account, one of the bullets fired at the president's limousine hit not only Kennedy, but also Governor John B. Connolly Jr. of Texas. He found the quote-unquote magic bullet in the back of the presidential limousine. Landis's account reopens the possibility of a second shooter apart from Lee Harvey Oswald. Landis also reports hearing only two shots, not three. Investigators concluded that the bullet passed through Kennedy, then hit the Governor Connolly's right shoulder. However, doctors concluded that a single bullet could have caused all the damage. Ballistic experts using modern forensic techniques concluded this was perfectly plausible. Sixty years after the incident that claimed the life of a president, these new revelations have raised the question of whether a second shooter was also involved in the assassination. It remains to be seen whether his testimony would be enough to order a fresh investigation into one of the most talked about mysteries in American history. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.